Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Authentics, Grimlock. And yes, I have an... Transformers Authentics Bravo Grimlock now. And this is the 12-inch transforming figure. Before we look at the figure itself, let's look at the box. You got some nice artwork of Grimlock in his dino mode. Demolishing. He could demolish Decepticons in his robot mode, which is ferocity for a dinosaur robot. And he turns into into his G1 robot self, which is very cool. Transforms in eight steps. Not bad for an eight step figure. Even shows the transformation movements and all that. And some artwork on the side of the box. Transformers. Autobot Insignia, Authentics Bravo, Transformers. More than meets the eye, Transformers. So these figures are really great for what they are, and I just love them. But now we're going to look at Grimlock himself, and look at that head is really well sculpted. Those teeth are really well sculpted. The eyes are really well painted. The yellow highlights on the back are really well painted. Robot mode chest is really well painted. But you do get some visible head syndrome. They could have done something to cover that up, but I guess for a 10, for like a 12 buck figure, they couldn't cover it up, I guess, huh? But now we're going to get down to the most important thing, comparison. Here is the Authentics 12 inch Grimlock next to the $10 Deluxe Grimlock. And the Almost Legends Grimlock. Why not? Dare I say why not? Next to some other 12-inch figures. Transforming 12-inch figures. Starscream. Why not? Megatron. Bumblebee. Why not? And Leader Optimus Prime. Why not? Because we got had so many comparisons for today. But now we're going to get down to transforming Grimlock. First, we're going to disconnect these legs like so. Split the legs. Flip down the tail like so. Flip down the legs. Disconnect the arms from the lower body. Make sure these tabs plug in. Flip down the head like so. Flip it down like so to the back. Just like the first. And we're going to peg this top peg in. If I can get it to peg in. Come on. Come on, Grimlock. Come on. Tab in. There we go. That's the sound you want to hear when it tabs in completely. And we're going to raise the camera because he is a big boy. But there we got Authentics Grimlock in his robot mode. And that is one amazing robot mode for an almost 12-inch figure. But now we're going to transform some other figures for comparison and show this guy off next to some other figures. Because he is impressive. Most impressive. A lot of impressive for one bot. So here is the Deluxe Grimlock. He is a bit taller than the Deluxe Grimlock here. Definitely a bit taller. Why not? 
Transform Legends Grimlock to compare this to. And yeah, his transformation can be a bit fussy for this Grimlock, smaller Grimlock I have. Oh, come on, you back piece. Stay on. I may be autistic, but given this piece is being a little bit fussy for me today. Here is the Legends Grimlock next to the bigger Grimlock, and he is a lot smaller compared to that one. Now for some actual 12-inch comparisons here. Here he is next to Leader Megatron. Why not? There I say why not, and he is the same size as Megatron. And now we're gonna compare him next to good old Starscream. Why not? There I say why not. He is the same size as good old Screamer from Transformers. Now next to some Autobot comparison, if I can get this to work on camera. Here he is next to leader Optimus in his robot mode. Why not? And finally, Deluxe Class Bumblebee. We'll compare him next to, and then that's the end of this video. But here he is next to Bumblebee. His oldest little buddy. Why not? And this Transformers Authentics Bravo Grimlock is a brand new figure from the Transformers Authentics Bravo. I've been trying to get this figure brand new for a long time. And I've had hard trouble finding this guy. I've been wanting to complete my wave of 12-inch Authentics Bravos for a while. But now I finally have my 12-inch Transforming Authentics Bravo Autobots complete. And that makes me very happy to complete that collection after all this time. Would I recommend picking up a Transformers Authentics Bravo Grimlock? If you love Optimus like I do, and you love Grimlock, you love Soundwave and Shockwave and all that, these guys ain't half bad for this scale and price point. I would highly recommend to other reviewers to pick this guy up. He is a cool-looking figure, and he transforms very nicely. Sure, there are some visual seeing the head and all that, but it's a thing I can look over for this price point of figures. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.